I want to circle back to tradition because, uh, you know, as I said before, Clemson has so many traditions and, and to a degree is a very traditional program. Um, and with that being said, that that reigns true in our uniform combinations. Mm. <laughs> we're, we're only going so many ways. We're only having so many options. So what's the favorite combination? Purple on orange. We we've won it. We've worn it one time uh, since I've been here, and it was it was a weird deal that we had. Like we were playing Louisville, and like if we if we beat them, we clinched the division. Mm-hmm. So that was technically a championship. <laughs> so that's why you got to wear the what? orange bridges. What? what you doing? What, what, why are you laughing? What you doing right now? Why are you laughing? <laughs> <laughs> that was his best game. Oh, that's, that's, that's when he did the hurdle. Yeah, that's when he did the hurdle little, sack. That's, little, that's, not, that's not even. So you're that's, saying the uniform was good luck. <laughs> that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, since we're talking about that, no, <laughs> no, <laughs> that, I just think it, it, right it, it, stop it. <laughs> I just think it looks you had so an interception different too, right? Yes, I yeah, did. You did. Yeah, you did. It just, it looks so different. I've only seen Clemson wear it one time. That was like when Spiller was back in school, Coach Spiller, but um. You know, that was just, it was crazy. Like, the purple, purple and purple is already sweet. But like, purple and orange, it was just, it was crazy. Um, speaking of the purple and orange, uh, you might have good luck in that. I have really bad luck in that. Uh, that was the game I obliterated my hamstring. Oh, so we don't like the purple well, and orange combo. Well, maybe Barrett can wear it, and I'll just, I'll just wear all purple. Okay. I'll be the guy who wears all purple. Everybody else can wear the purple and orange, but not me. So all purple is your. I like pur- I like all purple. One. Yeah, okay. purple and purple. The purple and orange was pretty good until the third quarter. That was uh, my, yeah. right. Like it was shaping up to be good. It was then, good. I yeah you yeah, know played right. decent and then yeah. you know, wham it was bad. So that, yeah, that, I got to watch Bear from the sideline side make all the plays. That the one on the sideline. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I like the solid orange. Okay. I like all orange. I feel like it's. I don't know. This looks good. With the orange helmet, solid orange, I feel like it all just complements really well. Are we wearing any additional things? Like, <laughs> no, we're not doing that. Always. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh. <laughs> Always. I, I didn't know where we were going with the, like, no, we're not doing yeah, that. You, but you wear, were like, no, obviously. You got to mix in, like, a sleeve or, like, some bands or something you gotta you can't always wear the same i find myself wearing the same thing a lot but you always gotta mix it up i mean i feel like i do a bad job of that but is it is it a safety thing that he was so like yeah i mean as a linebacker like how do we feel about this because we got you know two safeties in the room yeah i mean just i am a linebacker but i think i am a pretty drippy linebacker oh come on drip yeah i'm 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 my (laughs) go-to I'm tired of y'all. My go-to is a little arm sleeve, and I started rocking a visor recently. Um, but yeah, my go-to is an arm sleeve, and leave one arm bare, show off the tattoos. But yeah, sometimes, sometimes you put a mask on. Sometimes I hey. do put a mask on. Sometimes, yeah. special occasions. He wasn't gonna say that, so I appreciate you, you know, calling him out. Yeah, he's being humble. I gotta, I gotta boost him up. What well, are you? Come on, you. They've spoken. Oh, I wear the same thing every game. I wear tall socks and. Uh, Two calf bands, one on each leg, and uh, just wear the thick wristbands. I wear the thick wristbands yeah. and gloves, and that's it. Why are you looking at it. me? It's been a while. <laughs> I, I, I didn't, yeah, I don't know. Asking. Is that out of like your own? You know, I'm just, I gotta I'm, have this exact I'm same just thing. A routine Is it superstition? Guy. I'm okay, just, not necessarily just superstition, but okay. I like I like to stick to my routine. So that's what I do. Okay. Maybe I should switch it up. I'll just copy one of them one game. I'll just wear the exact same thing what you guys are wearing. Copy RJ. I don't think you could do that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about Coach Goodwin, right? Going yes. into his third year as DC. I want to hear from you guys about what you appreciate and, and maybe even something that you find interesting, right? Because I think fans <laughs> and the audience – they don't know him no. yeah. like you guys. No, you don't. Uh, no, you don't. You do not so, know him like that. so like we just need quick insight. It doesn't have to be, you know. Don't yeah. don't give all the secrets. I, I appreciate his corny jokes. <laughs> what What do you mean? What do you mean? I, I'm give not, us an I'm example. Not, nope. No. You know we need an example. No, He's a no, funny guy, right? Is it no, like dad jokes? It. Like what? Just yeah. corny jokes. Dad jokes. That's all. <laughs> kind of like dad jokes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Adjacent dad joke. Adjacent. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so he's funny. He's cracking the joke. He, he's he's like, funny. Yeah, <laughs> he love he loves to laugh. He loves to laugh. Like we'll be, 
I can't. <laughs> no, I, can't. I literally no. can't say it. I literally like he just it, gives jokes at unexpected times, but nobody's unexpected. yeah. You're, everybody's kind of serious, and then he kind of breaks the ice with something mm -hmm. funny. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, I appreciate that about him. And and then, what do you appreciate from more of that leadership, like coaching perspective? I would say just. Um, you know, we all want to grow as players, as people, but it's really cool to, like, from his first game coaching to now to see him grow as our leader and as our defensive coordinator and just him get more um, comfortable with, like, what play calls and building relationships with his players. But that's that's been cool to me to see just how he's grown and um, the, step that, the steps that he's taking to um, get better at what he does. Uh, you know, just him as a leader, I feel like, Seeing where he was day one to now, it's just, you know, it's amazing just seeing the way he's grown and just like Bear said, you know, and I think he's, you know, a exactly great coach and he's a mastermind, you know, <laughs> all the stuff he comes up with and, you know, he really does a good job, you know, putting game plans together each and every week and, um, you know, he's very open to, you know, hearing from his players and, you know, listening to guys and taking, you know, input and helping us, you know, everyone be successful. I feel like he does a great job of that. Um, yeah, I would say he's, you know, he's seen a lot of ball um, and he's just really, really smart. And I can, you know, I, I trust that and I, you know, I, I watch him work and I watch, you know, how he thinks and how he puts game plans together. And I, you know, when you see the work and when you see like, here's why and here's, you know, you know, the method to the madness, whatever people say, um, you know, it's, it's, that was pretty bad, huh? No, that was okay, good. Um, like you can you can respect that and you can trust it you know going in you know you're you're about to play in that scheme and you can see you know what he's dialing up and 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 you're like okay I like this you know and you can trust it and then he on top of that RJ said he, you know he asked for feedback and he he wants to know you know what we are comfortable with and at the end of the day you're only going to be as good as you know your player's ability to execute and he really believes in that and and wants you know to help that as much as possible so I can trust that I want you guys to talk about your own leadership, right? Because think back when you were the young guy on the team and what you looked for. Um, what do you emulate that you saw then or what? how do you lead differently than what you saw when you guys were the, the young, fresh guys on the team? I think um, the way that I lead is I'm just kind of be like a, is it pull, not push leader? I still, I still push my guys, but like I want the – young freshman who just got here to like start learning how to be a leader um like his first day like and it, like my my thing is it doesn't matter how young you are um how much experience you have how much you've played like anyone can lead so like for me like I'm gonna lead the guys but I want the young guys to also step up now and know that when it is their time to really take control like they're ready for it and they they understand like what it takes to be a leader so I would say just a, a pull not push type of leader uh, I'll say for me personally, just uh, building relationships with everybody. I feel like that's really important, you know, to lead somebody and, to, you know, tell them whenever they messed up. You know, it's not helpful if the leader doesn't know who they're talking to. And um, <clears throat> I feel like um, that's what I try to do. You know, I just try to be nice to everybody, build relationships with all the new guys, everyone coming in. You know, even if they play the, on the other side of the ball, it really doesn't matter. Um, and then just lead by example. Just be somebody that's worthy of being followed, you know, like. Just be an example every single day and try to be consistent. You know, it's not like the hardest thing to do is being consistent and doing it every day, and that's what I'm still working on and trying to do my best at. Yeah, I think for me, um, when I was young, when I was a young player, I always looked up to uh, Jamie Skalski, and I thought he was, you know, the best leader that we've had in a while. Um, and so I try to emulate that uh, a little bit, and – you know, he was always a, a raw and emotional and real guy, and I think that's what I've I've tried to be. And I think I'm, you know, I'm pretty, you know, authentic, and I don't shy away from what I think and stuff. Um, you know, but you know, also trying to be mindful of the fact that you know you can't, you know, treat everybody the same. If you're trying to help somebody out and help them grow, you have to kind of, you know, you know, conform yourself and and be kind of compassionate and try to help them out and and pull them up rather than kind of push them around. Um, you know, but just, just trying to be real and authentic and genuine. While we're being real and authentic and genuine, hidden interest, like the thing that nobody <laughs> knows, 
<laughs> that you're interested in, and you're gonna have to you're gonna have to own up to it. You're gonna have to fess up that mm. you're interested in <laughs> X Y Z. Like, what is that thing? Shopping. Shopping? Very yeah. good, Mr. Like how? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Breadman. Yeah. Oh. I mean, are, are I, we I pretending that. that that's, I mean, okay, so like you don't think a lot of people know that you like to shop? I don't think so. I'm not like flashy, but I just like, I love stuff. Okay. <laughs> like stuff is like. What is stuff? Got it. Shoes, clothes, food, video games, <laughs> anything. Like accessory, like wow. anything. Okay. Toiletries. You sound like an impulsive spender. You got it. I am. Because <laughs> he got <laughs> it. He got it like that. No, it. like, my mom, we were just talking about this. Like, I was walking in the mall with my mom. Like, we were at, like, Dick's or something. Like, I saw this hoodie that I liked. And I just, like, left her and just went to, like, pick up the hoodie. Oh, and she's wow. like, and like, that happened so much. Like, I just love, like, buying stuff. It's like, sh- I'll probably say shopping. Okay. Yeah. Was she mad at you? No, like it's I have my own money, so she doesn't. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm, that, I'm not. I, I, yeah, I have my own. She money. wasn't like bear my stop. Bad. No, no. She calls you bear. She does call me. Wow. How do you know that? She told me. Oh, I was oh, in the parking lot after the game, and she was like, uh, she was like, uh, she was like, bear thinks you're really funny, and I was like, what does that mean? Like, does that mean like they're a hairy person? I didn't know. Like, I really didn't. But then I found out it was bear it. Yeah, which makes sense. That's so. a really sweet nickname, actually. That's, yeah, I thought it was that's cool. Super cute. Yeah. Shout out my sister Kennedy. She gave me that nickname. <laughs> Sweet. RJ, what do you like to do? You said secret interest? Yeah, it's gotta be secret interest, you know. <clears> like <throat> my secret interest would be travel planning. I like I like planning oh, yes. I like planning trips. I love planning trips, even though I might not go on half of them. I just like the idea of it. You know, I it, love it, brings that. Me, it brings me peace, you know, just thinking of because I really want to travel whenever I'm done playing a lot. And um where? Know, <laughs> Where? I can't even tell you. RJ and I have been planning a trip <laughs> yeah, to Greece yeah. since like November. Planning. And what town? We've been planning all these trips. Is it Athens? It's Santorini. Santorini. It's Santorini. Yeah, we've been planning it for months. It's probably never going to happen. don't even know where they're going, but they're going. Happen. They're flying to Athens. <laughs> he'll, send, he'll send it to me on Snapchat. He'll be like, he'll send me the thing with the price, like, yo, book it. I'm like, bro, you're not even being serious right now. <laughs> I love that, though. So you, like, put the whole trip together. At some point, the trip will make it out of the group chat. Mm. But for now. Yeah. Yeah. But they, I mean, they always end up happening eventually. But, like, it takes time. You know, it takes everyone on the same page and everything working out, schedules and stuff. So I love that. <laughs> number He's one. trying to get me to skip class to go on the trip oh. to Greece. Okay. What? I'm snaking you. So wow. is Greece the number one yeah. place? Yeah. No, that's the number one in the program. <laughs> Go to class and be engaged. That's what it is. <laughs> I'm going to get you back. You trying to get me to skip class Watch to go this. to Greece. A leader would make you do that? Yeah. Oh, 